Hello, tonight we're going to read Grandad's Camper. Every summer I go to stay at my granddad's house by the sea. It's a pretty old college, cottage, with bookshelves packed to the brim with interesting things from granddad's travels, and lots of great places to play hide and seek. In the garden, Grandad grows all kinds of fruits and vegetables. There's a big cherry tree, which, if you shake just enough, yum. But my favorite thing to do at Grandad's house is snuggle up on the sofa and listen as Grandad tells me about all the amazing places he and Gramps would explore. Your Gramps was quite the adventurer. He was tall and handsome, and excellent at so many things. Tidiness was not one of them. Soon after we met, he invited me on vacation with him. So we set off in his camper to the seaside. In the daytime we surfed, ate fish and chips, and had a sandcastle competition. I think I won. In the evenings, we'd have bonfires on the beach and watch the tide going in and out of the bay. One afternoon, Gramps said to me, there are so many wonderful things in this world and I want to see all of them with you. So that's exactly what we did. Gramps always wanted to visit the city, so that's where we went first. We drove through dark tunnels, over fancy bridges, and in between towering skyscrapers. Everywhere we went was full of life. There were so many people, so many animals, and so many things to see. It was amazing. We saw lots of different kinds of homes, from high-rise apartments to townhouses, but we were happy with our little home on wheels, which we could take wherever we pleased. Grandad puts down his photo album and smiles. I can see how much he loves these memories and how much he loved Gramps. Why don't you go anywhere now, Grandad? It's not the same without Gramps. He made everything feel extra special. Since Gramps died, I just don't feel like it. A thought pops into my head. Do you still have your camper van? He winks. Follow me. I run outside to the garage, and with all my might, heave open the big old doors. There it is. It looks broken down, but I come up with a clever plan. Let's fix it up and go to the seaside together. He looks at me and laughs. I suppose it might be nice to take another trip. Off comes the dust cover and we get started. Finally, we stand back and look at our handiwork. Your Gramps would be so happy to see this. It's what he would have wanted. Let's pack some snacks and hot chocolate and then camp on the beach, just like Gramps and I used to. So that's exactly what we do. The end. I hope y'all enjoyed. Special shout out to Charles and William. I love y'all. Good night.